Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. I am going to play as Isaac, or as the vanilla version of myself, supposedly, I guess. It looks a lot like me, I can't deny that. When I wake up every morning feeling like P. Diddy, I look in the mirror and I'm like, I don't look like P. Diddy, I look like the lead character from the Binding of Isaac. But in any case, last run. Uh, terrible mistakes, terrible RNG, hopefully entertaining at the very least, but uh, there were some pretty bad decisions that I made, no question about it. Uh, from a mechanical standpoint, how did I play? Did I dodge well? Yeah, I thought I did okay on that standpoint, but I made some bad decisions, especially with respect to uh, a couple deals with the devil that I took that put me in permanent blue, bear blue baby territory as Samson, which is not where you want to be. HP upgrades when they show up end up being useless. Uh, and that was not good for us. Wow, we found the second secret room by accident there. Always nice when that happens. Uh... Okay, three cents I will invest here. Mostly because it, the ability to get like an awesome trinket right off the bat would be amazing, but I'm expecting that this is gonna be worthless for us. Whoa, okay. Um, so we'll take Crystal Ball. That's gonna give us a tarot card, which is the stars, which allows me to teleport into the item room. Uh... And I could do that, because I I don't need to teleport inside of the item room. I, I guess we'll just take a look and we'll see what each of these rooms contains and see what we want to re-roll. For what it's worth right now, I would probably take Sacrificial Dagger and re-roll the crystal. Oh, but now I have to use a bomb to get back in there. That's fine, that's fine. But I wanted to see if we get something from Envy as well. If it's an attack fly, I'll take it, but... Um Sure, this is kind of a weird one. I like Crystal Ball. I think Crystal Ball is an awesome item. I'm just not ready to give him my D6 this early. It p potentially provides us with a much greater benefit um, than the Crystal Ball alone would, even though the Crystal Ball could potentially be a game-winning item. It would mean we wouldn't have to buy a map or a compass, and, you know, it's kind of like a map, compass, book of revelations all in one. Uh, even though it doesn't always give you a Spirit Heart, it most often gives you a Spirit Heart. It could potentially give you a Tarot card that's even better than a Spirit Heart. But anyway, it's more fun to use the D6. As much as I think the Crystal Ball is a, a totally cool item that doesn't show up nearly as often as I would like it to, I uh, am, am going to roll with uh, the D6 instead, just because it would be funky. And also, I have no idea what the reroll pool is for second Secret Room, if it's just a, like a reroll of whatever the other items is still available in the game are. By the way, I'm killing the attack fly, or the blue envy last, because I believe it does give you a better chance of getting the attack fly. Um, we picked up a decent amount of money here. We still have no keys, so we can't go to the shop, but we also got Mom's Pearl, which gives you an increased chance of spirit heart drops, so... That was everything I wanted the second secret room to be, but, uh, in the, uh, weird little mini-boss room instead. So we'll reroll Crystal Ball. Ugh, uh, well... You know, you win some, you lose some. I wasn't going to take Crystal Ball anyway, so we might as well have re-rolled it and, uh, you know, seen if we had gotten a better item. We didn't. Let's move on to our boss fight, and uh, we'll take whatever, hopefully, passive item we get here. I don't know if you could... Yeah, this is fine. We'll get a cube of meat as well. Uh, Blue Famine. Not my favorite to fight. Obviously, the most difficult uh, of all of the famines. But, by the same token, uh, also one of the easier bosses we could end up fighting at this point. Especially if we could actually... The problem is that I can't really get Attack Fly to hit very often, and if I do try to spend uh, my efforts getting Attack Fly to hit, it's probably pretty likely that I'm going to get hit myself. So I'm just going to focus on actually hitting Famine here with my Tears. He should enter, yeah, face state anytime. Uh, obviously he already has, I was just finishing my sentence there, so it came across as vaguely coherent for maybe the first time in my entire quote-unquote career here. There we go, two Spirit Hearts as well as... Uh, the cube of meat here. So I'm okay with that. Let's head down to the next floor. And we we can't really see anything, so what I'm gonna do is just... Well, I was gonna say I'll get my, uh... Uh, D6 charged and then use the stars card, but we've already found the item room, so th that's cool. Uh, we'll probably follow the same course of action just because I don't have any keys. So I kinda gotta do this if I want to, uh, actually get some use out of this D6. And I think once you go into the item room via the teleportation card, any teleportation card, uh, you don't have to use a key to get back in, so I could potentially, like, continue re-rolling it, uh, over and over and over. Yeah, we got a key anyway. Um, the question is, do I want to use my key to get into the item room? And the answer to that is, no. So, we'll stars card in, and, uh, that's ten bombs. And it's ten bombs, but it's not, like, a passive... Or, it's not an active, so if I pick up the 10 bombs, I'm stuck with 10 bombs. I'm gonna be okay with that. I need the bombs, it makes me look like some kind of awesome cherry or something like that. Uh, and you know what? We're gonna gamble a little heavily on this. I'm gonna open up the shop, if the items are shit, I'm gonna re-roll them. They're kind of shit. I'm gonna re-roll them. That didn't re-roll the ladder for some reason. 
Okay, then I am going to spend five cents on a key. What I was thinking is, re-roll it, maybe blue candle or something shows up. Ah, I wouldn't even want blue candle, I guess, because I want to stick with the D6. Uh, at least for a few more floors. But then look for the secret room and, um, you know, maybe get some extra value out of this shop than I would have otherwise. May basically, it's like, we'll use a reroll without knowing we can buy something from the shop in the hopes that eventually we can buy something from the shop. So there are some potentially good uh, layouts for us on this floor. Obviously, I would love the secret room to be next to this boss trap room so I could bomb my way in and get some value out of that. We're certainly going to use a bomb to check out this uh, chest over here because we're going to get, at the very least, a bomb back as well. No arcade, so I don't think I'll be able to use that heart for anything. Let's see if we uh, are going to be exceptionally lucky here. Nope. Okay, so we'll have to find uh, our own way to scum into the boss room, if boss trap room, I should say, if possible. Um, the curse room won't make that happen for us, but I might end up going into it regardless, just because I can afford to lose a spirit heart to possibly pick up a, a more or less free deal with the devil item. So there's a spirit heart down the drain, but we were going to lose those anyway. Might as well lose them in that situation. With the, uh, the potential of getting something substantially better. So... Uh, yes, just thank you. Cellar's pretty easy floor. We are gonna have our D6 available for the boss room slash deal with the devil room corridor here, which I'm excited about, and we have one more, uh, secret room potential location, which I am going to look into, of course. So, this is, uh, where Attack Fly actually gets a good chance to shine. I'm gonna focus secondarily on actually hitting, uh, Pin with my tears, because hitting him with Attack Fly is actually going to do, uh, the vast majority of damage that I could possibly muster here, so I think it's in our best interest to, oh, if at all possible, make that happen. He's he killed himself anyway. We're not going to reroll the pentagram. That's arguably one of the better drops you can get from uh, a boss. And we have the nail here for two spirit hearts, which is an interesting choice that I'm going to ignore and reroll into two heart demon baby or a three spirit heart book of Belial, neither of which really appeal to me that much. The only reason I would have taken a two heart demon baby. In fact, this actually might be interesting if the deal with the devil is still open. It's not. I was thinking, two our deal with the devil. Um, then we go into the boss trap room. Maybe we snag an HP upgrade. I don't know if it's worth it still, though. So, I'm, I'm very content with the fact that we got the pentagram, of course. And our secret room is indeed here. And there's going to be enough money to, uh, you know, fall one cent short of buying the ladder. But I'm okay with that because I would rather save my money for something else at this point. You never know if you're only going to get one shop. Ladder usually pays for itself. It's not a bad purchase, in my opinion. But, uh... It can get better, basically. That money could potentially put to better use at something else. So, with the first few floors being done here, uh, I think we're in a decent position. Anytime that I the, the commentary stops, I love the sound of my own voice, so you can assume that I'm, I'm doing something that I love more than listening to the sound of my own voice, and that's usually drinking a little bit of coffee over here. As it is early, 1.40 p.m. on a Friday, uh, you know, it's important to stay well caffeinated, just so you don't get that midday uh, crash that I hear them talk about in probiotic yogurt commercials all the time. So we're gonna trade two bombs for four bombs, that's a fair trade. The reason I'm not going to the boss room just yet is because we do not have a D6 charge, and I think it's always smart to wait for a D6 charge before you go fight a boss, just in case there's a deal with the devil, then you can get a reroll out of it and potentially snag an actually great item. Rest assured that if mom's knife shows up, seven cents for the map is okay. I'll do that, and I'll blow this up. Um, Rest assured that if I do get the- ooh, small rock. Rest assured that if I get the chance to get Mom's Knife, I will take it. I realized I took Mom's Knife on the last run, but then I died, like, second and a half after getting it, so I don't feel too bad about that. Please, just- if as long as you don't move, it's like a T-Rex, they get attracted by motion. Okay, we lived. Kind of surprisingly. Now that we have the map, we can go to the secret room easily. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we might not earn a deal with the devil. We might, though. It's up in the air. That is a staggering amount of money from one secret room. That was 22 cents, I think. That is crazy. Among the best uh, secret rooms that I think I've ever seen in terms of uh, financial standpoint. Having a dime and a nickel in the same room, kind of out of control good. But let's see what we get here. It's Gertie. I was kind of hoping, uh, deep down in my heart of hearts, that it would be Pestilence. So we could possibly have the chance to get a second or even third or fourth level Meat Boy. Sadly, no such luck so far. So, we're going to... Um, I'm trying to be a little too cutesy with this fight. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm leaving the green thing there, just so that the green nub, just so that it could potentially uh, attack Gertie itself. But then I realized that's a bad idea because that's really kind of handcuffing me when it comes to uh, my dodging directions. So I think it's much better for me to just take this fight the way I always take this fight and uh, focus on doing things the normal way as opposed to the stylish way. 
and this will result in probably a better outcome for me. So, you know, attack fly is going to be a secondary concern here. I do eventually want to get to the point where attack fly is basically a passive as opposed to an active, which is to say I want to eventually be doing enough damage that I don't have to worry about actually using attack fly effectively in order to uh, cause damage to the enemy. So obviously Cat of Nine Tails is something I want to reroll. First things first, um, I will absolutely take Lump of Coal and be okay with it. It's a damage upgrade, sort of. Uh, and I am not going to complain about it as much as I've complained about it in the past. I think at this point, th my forgiveness for Lump of Coal has uh, been well publicized in these videos, at least. It's not like fucking CNN's report. And Northern Lion all of a sudden likes Lump of Coal! No one on Earth shocked. Anyway, it's a good item, and it it's much more valuable for me to reroll Cat of Nine Tails, even though I would get a number of opportunities to reroll Cat of Nine Tails, as in all likelihood, anyway. Uh, but I'd rather do uh, just take a lump of coal than reroll this and potentially get something. I mean, here's the thing: you could potentially get something amazing by rerolling the Krampus fight. You can get, you know, Pact, Mom's Knife, Spirit of the Night, Lord of the Pit, something like that. But you could also get like nine lives, so I'm okay with taking lump of coal instead. Giving us some extra damage and rerolling the shit out of that and taking another damage up that also coincides with an HP up. So, uh, you know, I can't with authority say that that was the definitive best way to handle that. But what I can say is that certainly there are a lot worse things that could have happened if I had taken an alternate course of action. And I'm content with the way that this has worked out for me so far. We also got an Eternal Heart. Unless I lose like all of my spirit hearts which is just one this actually is kind of a vulnerable eternal heart but I have to go to the item room so maybe I'll stop uh, wasting a lot of time going into these dead end rooms but uh, it is important for me I think to at the very least make my way to the item room here and we do enough damage that I can uh, thankfully take these guys out before there's a significant risk to myself so we'll just Pop them open like so. Uh, we have... Ah, it's a golden chest, and that's so tempting, because it could potentially be an item that's re-rollable or good in, in its own right. Uh, so there's Brother Bobby, and I'm thinking, it's good? Is it game-changing? Absolutely not. Maybe I could come down here instead and see if there's anything in here. Oh, it's the compass! Okay. Now, so th this is a no-brainer. We take the compass. We obviously don't re-roll that. Now the question becomes, do we re-roll Brother, Brother Bobby, or do we take it? And honestly, I think we take it. Brother Bobby is not the greatest... Uh, upgrade in the world. Obviously, there are much, much better possibilities, but there's no way we're going to get another reroll on this floor. He does damage. He's a nice familiar to have. He's something that you need to have, and if he leaves your ass, he's going to leave with half. I believe that's the Kanye West uh, song that was written about uh, Brother Bobby. So if we pop this open, okay. We're just going to take Brother Bobby. As exciting as rerolling it could potentially be, and as much as I would love to be like, oh, Polyphemus, I'm a genius, herp derp. No, I can't. So. We're just going to roll with Brother Bobby instead. Cool by me. And uh, we're very quietly and slowly putting together a uh, totally winnable run here. Caveats so far. I would love to be doing just a little bit more damage. I would love to have the ability to fly. And I would love to have more health. There's many items that, I can, that can accomplish multiple of those things simultaneously. Guppy's paw would be awesome. Uh, that's obviously one of the semi-no-brainers. I'm not sure what else would really fit in. Obviously, there's the the like completely automatic choices: mom's knife, polyphemus, quad shot, technology two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Technology two is really on the past few weeks of runs entered into that kind of upper echelon for me. So we're gonna go nuts with this uh, blood bank here. We don't need the money, obviously, but uh, if we could somehow get the HP upgrade, I would be content. Ah, I got a blood bag instead. Oh, which I can pick up, put down, and then reroll into something. Uh, the Rosary. I don't want that yet because it's going to cause me to get the Bible. So we'll take uh, the key instead and we'll make our way down to the shop item room area. I'm not sure which one we'll go to first. doesn't really matter. We'll be able to get more keys. I even if it we have to spend a ton of time, we should be able to get more keys on the uh, arcade. But I do want to spend my reroll on that Rosary if possible. Obviously, we've got a lot of potential things to reroll here, but we'll see. Could trade a bomb to get a bomb. It's not really the... Greatest trade in the world to do. We're really just trading our time in that situation. Uh, and with one key, I think we go to the shop. We should go reroll the rosary first. Just because if we end up fighting greed in the shop, then we're, we'd be wasting one third of a d6 charge. So we'll go reroll the rosary. Might cost us an important reroll later, but uh, we get holy water, which is real shitty. Among the worst items in the game, I would rather, like, not take holy water, reroll that, and pass up uh, some kind of passive later. 
But we're going to the shop uh, because we have 42 cents, which is nuts, and also we have uh, the potential to buy another key in the shop unless we're fighting greed, which is you know, totally plausible and is actually what is happening. But there's also the potential for greed to just drop a key. Happens seemingly a little bit more consistently than on uh, a normal room. Uh, and at the very least, you know, we get another one-third of a D6 charge here. Now it's the question. I guess we make our way to the boss room and we probably ignore my own advice. And uh, even if we have a full D6 charge, we'll go to the boss room with it. That'll waste a third of a D6 charge, but it will also uh, give me the potential to reroll a deal with the devil if one shows up, which is maybe possible. We'll see. It would have been ideal if this room didn't have enemies in it, I guess, but whatever. Doesn't make a huge difference, I suppose. We also have a mob trap room, and uh, sadly, we can't really use the blood bank anymore because it's already exploded. And we're going to be fighting Chubb here. So our dreams of getting a third level Meat Boy, or uh, our dreams of getting a fourth level Meat Boy are done, obviously. Third level Meat Boy is still a, technically a possibility, although increasingly unlikely, I suppose. Now, we are a little bit faster than Chubb, but it always pays to be prudent. Our attack fly is doing some really nice work for us here, as you can see. And we'll just continue with that. Attack fly, it's an item that I always draw attention to as being really good or better than most people expect. And it's because I think it is underrated a little bit. So let's see what we've got in our room here. Definitely going to reroll these. I think these are bad. I possibly had the chance to become Guppy, but uh, I'll take Lord of the Pit for one heart instead. And basically, this boss room is now just giving me the ability to fly like a Sugar Ray song. So uh, it's a really good item. Obviously, Lord of the Pit is a fantastic boost uh, without any extra keys. That kind of sucks. We will build up another D6 charge and go back and reroll the Rosary at the very least. We might spend more time in the arcade also trying to uh, get a key from the slot machine. I, I can't remember if it was a slot machine or a fortune teller. Hey, there's a key right there. So we will not go to the mob trap room unless we absolutely need another reroll. In all likelihood, we'll go to the item room instead because it's guaranteed to give us an item, whereas the uh, mob trap room could give us just consumables, which is not necessarily bad. If it gave us more keys, obviously, that would probably be an even better payout, but, um, you know, there's not too much we can really do there because it, it kind of relies on the random number generator. So it, it's just hunches and, and instinct, basically. So we'll go with what is the most logical choice when the time presents itself. We are about to get another D6 charge, and, oh, well, maybe we're not, actually. Thank God there were enemies on this room. So this simplifies the situation. Certainly, I think, a uh, smart idea for us to go to the item room, and then we'll judge our rerolls from there. I could take holy water. Um, you know, the bad thing about holy water is that it transforms one of your familiars into Brother Bobby. Well, I already have Brother Bobby, so what's it going to do? Transform him into himself? But if there's a good reroll, if, if there's a good item in the shop, then I'll reroll holy water. That's the ideal course of action here. Uh, X-ray goggles. Saves a bomb uh, on going into secret rooms. We will be able to find the second secret room more easily as a result of this. It's certainly not the greatest item in the game, and if there was uh, the opportunity to reroll that, uh, I would have probably taken it. However, uh, the fucking holy water is so bad that I have to at least take the x-ray goggles for the chance of this being a little bit better. So we're going to reroll holy water again. Book of Shadows kind of sucks in this situation. I don't want to gamble is the problem. Uh, so why don't we just make our way down to the ending here. Now, there is definitely theoretical chance that I could find a second secret room, get an eternal heart, but I am very lazy, and I already feel fairly comfortable, which is dangerous, but also I am feeling pretty good. Uh, if we can get some more keys, that would be amazing. Obviously, our slot machine isn't really, or our secret room here hasn't really paid out quite the way I would want it to. Uh, that's the first damage I've taken in a little while, I think, so I'm pretty pleased about that. We will go to our shop, because we're here, and there is a Steam sale, which is not worth anything to me. We will buy the Spirit Heart, we will buy the key, and we will buy the pill, and the pill is gonna be... Telepills I Am Error Room. Okay, that's really shitty. Um, I wanna leave. I missed out on a lot of shit on this floor, I might as well do the bean here. Um, but I'm gonna stick with the dice. So we skipped a floor, and that sucks. That actually could end up costing us pretty significantly here. I hate when that happens. The only time I seem to get the I Am Air Room is when you don't want to get the I Am Air Room. It's always nice when it shows up, because it's like, oh, that's weird. I, you don't see that all that often. Uh, but it's also oftentimes bad when it shows up. The one saving grace, I will say, I don't need that extra penny, probably. Uh, the one saving grace, I will say, is that, um, at least it wasn't on the Depths Part 2 when that actually happened. That would have caused us some serious problems. Uh, and caused us to miss the Polaroid, which could have potentially ruined the run for us. So I guess I would have just gone to Shoal, and then uh, probably at this point, 
I, I shouldn't necessarily say this because it sounds cocky, but winning at Shoal is would probably be like a foregone conclusion. So it would, it would be fun at least. People always bug me about going to Shoal, and to a certain extent, I understand where they're coming from. The Satan boss fight, I feel, is way more well designed than the Isaac and Blue Baby boss fights. But I can't justify going to Shoal when it's so much easier. And if I have a good run. Uh, then it's like, why go to Shoal? It's just a waste. It's, it's a foregone conclusion. If I have a, a half-decent run, it's like, why go to Shoal if we win? It's still, I guess it's, you'll give me credit, but it's much more amazing if I manage to pull a bad run into a uh, victory on the chest or in the cathedral. So, I don't know. It's a tough call. But anyway, we're lucky that so far, at least, I shouldn't necessarily get too cocky about it, but we haven't had to deal with uh, missing out on the Polaroid. Watch me just forget it on the mom fight now. One of the things I wish Rebirth would fix, I, I know where Ed was coming from when, it, when he put the Polaroid into the game. It's kind of like a Spelunky type, you know, get the hedge, go to the ice cave, sacrifice yourself, then you can get to the City of Gold type thing. Uh, but I don't necessarily think it works out in Isaac. I think it would be better if, if Trinkets actually had some more value beyond just getting Mom's purse. But, uh, you know, some people agree with me, some people disagree with me. We're getting a ton of money here. Okay, so you pick up the five bombs. I'll never make that mistake again. And then you re-roll it, and uh, Spelunker's hat is redundant with the x-ray goggles, so we're definitely going to look to re-roll that as well. That is kind of a scary position. That Leaper is dead, thankfully. Man, remember when Leapers were like my most hated enemies in the game? Those were the days back when the Halloween update came out. We thought that Shoal was going to be the hardest the game would ever be. Little did we know the fucking roller coaster we were in for with Wrath of the Lamb. So we have that. Uh, we have some more Zambros and those should be real easy to take out. Oh, and of course I take damage immediately. Not twice after saying that uh, immediately. I am just trying to get a D6 charge here. We'll go back and reroll that item room because Spelunker's hat is meaningless to us. We are back to full health. Uh, and that's our boss room. So it's good to know but we definitely want to look for our shop as well. Never know what we might come across there. Did we already fight Greed in the shop? I thought we already fought Greed. Not in the shop, sorry, in the uh, secret room. Kind of suffering from some short-term memory loss here. In our item room, we are going to get uh, Mr. Boom, which is trash, but so I might as well pick it up and then put it back down. It's not trash, it's just pretty bad, especially when you already have a surplus of bombs. I can't remember what the fuck we did in here. Maybe we fought Greed. I think so. I seem to remember fighting Greed on this floor, but my, my whole concept of time in Isaac is all bunged up as a result of this uh, I Am Air room that we went to. We should still be fine for at least a little while here. I don't know. The Hermit takes us directly to the shop. Let's go. Nun's Habit. Yeah. No-brainer purchase. How about this? Hanged Man. Not worth anything, but here we are. There's our second secret room, so we'll definitely... Oh, I should not have popped into there after I destroyed all of the bomb flies, but they'll blow up anyway, and... That'll be fine. Yes, no problems. Okay, so we're gonna have to find a way to get back to this uh, item room as soon as possible so that we can actually use our D6 charges efficiently. I'm glad I got the Nun's Habit. It's not necessarily the greatest uh, combination with D6, although sometimes it is if it helps you get some rerolls on, on situations that might otherwise be difficult. Uh, but uh, I would love to get a better spacebar item now. I'm at the point where, I, you know, I, I, underst oh, I understand the value of taking the D6 beyond this point in the game, but it's also, yeah, this is the right way. It's also fairly nice sometimes to get a spacebar item that's a little bit more, I don't know, it helps you survive. I don't really like the bomb bag in all honesty. I'm gonna do some more searching here and hopefully get another D6 charge. We should have at least a number of other rooms to go to. We'll check out uh, uh, Guppy's tail, so I totally could have become Guppy. We're going to take a little health damage on the way out, but yeah, it gives us more D6 charges. I suppose I could just hurt myself a little bit more often and get the D6 charge even more efficiently than I already have. Are we, like, at the end of this? We might be at the end of this floor. If so, I might just go into the mob, or sorry, the uh, secret room. Not secret room. What is this over here? The curse room. Walk in and walk out and then get a D6 charge ready. We'll use it one last time on this item room and then we'll go fight the boss and I guess we'll be kind of hamstrung in taking whatever the boss gives us. It's okay though. There's another half hard for us and uh, odd mushroom. Glad I did it. It's going to slow us down a little bit I think, uh, but it also gives us a damage upgrade as well as a health upgrade. So that was well worth the time and effort invested. Let's go fight mom. At least you, we got further than we did in the last run. And hopefully we'll be able to pick up an awesome deal with the devil here. So this is re oh my god, that, that it's sequence broke me, man. Normally the okay, relax. 
Why is this happening so quickly? Normally the foot comes down right at the start and it comes down in the middle. This time, things did not work out the way that I planned. This ain't your mama's mom fight. What? Anyway, uh, we're, we're in a dangerous position from a health standpoint. Not necessarily on this fight because hopefully now I have uh, trained myself to actually dodge. Uh, but I am concerned about what this means for us on the future floors, which are difficult and actually cause us to take uh, double damage relative to what we take right now. So as you can see, our damage is not incredible. I'm hoping that uh, we're not going to get a deal with the devil on this room, but uh, maybe on the next floor. I will totally take the Polaroid. I will totally take the HP upgrade. And please, God, give me a deal with the devil guppy's paw on the next floor. We're going down to the devs part two. We have compass. We have map. We can find these rooms easily. That is a huge load off uh, as we prepare for these more difficult floors. It means that we can just speed run the bosses base or speed run to the bosses uh, and cause ourselves all sorts of uh, stress relief. Uh, fortune teller, probably worth playing to see if I get a uh, bunch of spirit hearts, but I am lazy and my style has, you know, evolved to kind of reward my laziness sometimes. Or at least succeed in spite of my laziness now and then. So, we get uh, more money that will never be useful. Except in getting us to 69 cents, which would make me giggle like a schoolgirl because I'm 8. Uh, we need some more red hearts, if at all possible. But, I don't expect to take a staggering amount of damage against our boss on this floor. What is this? Health down. That hurts. Uh, I don't expect to take a staggering amount of damage against our boss on this floor unless we run into uh, a real asshole. Who, what's my ideal boss fight here? The Fallen? Like, almost always. Uh, free deal with the Devil. Plus, uh, the reroll potential is really nice. But we'll see who we're coming up against. It's actually Death. That was gonna mark that as one of my, like, least ideal boss fights at this point in the game because, again, you know, the second level Meat Boy, it's not bad, but it's not as valuable as some of the other items we could possibly need by this point. So, let's make sure that we get uh, Attack Fly to do our dirty work whenever possible. And as long as we do that, uh, the... Avatar of death. Oh, it's so shitty. Uh, should die very, very quickly here. Attack Fly does so much damage. There we go. And now we just gotta deal with the zombies. We actually killed a horse in that meantime as well, which is surprising to me. No deal with the devil. No reroll potential. So this is the run. This is how we're gonna look for the rest of uh, the remainder here. Let's so go up one room and then bomb our way in. Do we know what this is? Telepills. Oh, that's good. What is it? We, okay, it's better than the hanged man, I guess. Uh, we could use telepills to possibly get closer to a boss fight. Now is not the right time, though, because this is, A, the easiest floor that we're going to have for the remainder of the game, even though I'm taking a fuck ton of damage against these uh, laser turrets. But also, B, we're, we're already very close to the boss fight, so please, Lord, give me some kind of thank you. The, that red heart there was uh, exceptionally important for me. And we can take out these diglets before they get too close to us. And if we don't choke, I feel like beating Mom's heart should be basically guaranteed. But even if it's uh, difficult, we should be able to get through it. It's going to be the Isaac fight that's going to be a real challenge. And Wrath, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously hoping to get like a, um, a a Wrath item here, like Mr. Mega or something like that. But uh, even if we don't, I'll be okay with myself. Because we are moving on to uh, the more difficult part in the game. I got bigger fish to fry than not having Mr. Mega. That was really bad damage to take. Kind of like unaffordable damage to take, honestly. Uh, not, to, not to be the, the harbinger of despair, that would have been absolutely horrible if I got hit by that. Um, we gotta be fast to stay away from these troll bombs. Our speed is like exactly the same as their speed as well. Uh, I do not have spectral tears, so I can't just shoot through the rocks. I can't even shoot the troll bombs away. Please tell me I don't have to deal with many more of them. Uh, this is a good one. I got the jump on him here. Attack fly, save me! Oh man, that was so close. It was probably like four pixels away. We got a golden chest. That could be good. We also got some red hearts back. Uh, golden chest opens a red chest. Gives us a key and a penny back. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, on to the mom's heart boss fight. I fully expect to take damage against a laser. Ooh, we may be able to avoid that. Unexpectedly. And please explode. Yes, uh, I just wanted to make sure that it actually exploded when there were enemies to get the value out of the explosion. Otherwise, what's the point? And I expect this to be a very easy mom's heart boss fight. We have 21 bombs. Any run where you beat mom's heart is a... Uh, it's a worthwhile run, you know? It's it's a run where you, you did good, kid. Unless you got staggering advantages and then you ended up just dying here anyway. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying we're underpowered, but this is not obviously the most powerful run I've ever had. So, uh, I'll be content to a certain extent if we at least make it through this. 
Beating the cathedral is going to be damn near impossible, unless I get a good pill. We, we're our, we are in that corridor, I would say, that is about, you know, one great pill away from potential success. Now, we are going to manage to kill Mom's heart before Chubb shows up. I shouldn't, you know, count my chickens before they hatch, but uh, it looks like this fight is a foregone conclusion. Could go down to Shoal. Uh, that would be a more real realistic option, but I've already mentioned my aversion to that to a certain extent. And our boss room is pretty far away. Good use of telepills. All right, so <laughs> this is potentially going to be the end of it. I don't have too much recourse for living here, but I still feel like that was the best option to use telepills to get closer to the boss room. Although, if you know, there's an argument to be, to be made for walking to the boss room in case we took less damage than we earned in the form of HP or something like that. Uh, okay, we're in a really, really bad spot here. Start dropping in some bombs. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility is not going to do too much for us if I'm dead. But... I'm still relatively pleased with the way this run went. At least it wasn't the last run. That one run was terrible. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, please consider clicking the like button. It does help me out a lot. As always, please consider leaving a comment letting me know how disgusted you are by my post-Isaac stretches. It feels good, man. You gotta work it out sometimes. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, you can subscribe via the, via the link in the video description below if you want to see more daily Isaac videos. Or you can click the button under this video. I always thought that this was like a weird hand, but I see that it is now a dead infant or toddler curled up in some kind of weird position. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.